Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn the difference between some confusing vocabulary, so let's get started. So we have all over and throughout. They can mean the same thing, they can be interchangeable sometimes, but not always. So let's take a closer look. So, first, what do they mean? All over and throughout. They mean in all parts. In all parts. Throughout. All over. They have the same meaning, but they're used a little differently. Pronunciation. Throughout. Throughout. Use the TH with no voice. Plus the R. Through. Through. Don't roll it. Don't say through. Make the R sound er, with your voice. Through. Throughout. We have the oo sound, like moon and soon, through, plus the ow sound. And we have to link these vowels. So, throughout, throughout, throughout. It means all over, but it's a little different. First, let's talk about when they're the same, when they're interchangeable. I can say Mickey Mouse is famous. Mickey Mouse is famous all over the world. Or I can say Mickey Mouse is famous throughout the world. They're interchangeable in this case. Let's practice. Is Mickey Mouse famous all over the world? That's right. Mickey Mouse is famous all over the world. Is Mickey Mouse famous throughout the world? That's right. Mickey Mouse is famous throughout the world. They're interchangeable with this example. So when are they not interchangeable? When I talk about a flat surface, for example, the floor, I say there are clothes all over the floor. But I cannot say there are clothes throughout the floor. Because throughout means inside too. But it's not inside. It's just on the flat surface. So we use all over. There are clothes all over the floor. Let's practice. Are there clothes all over the floor? That's right. There are clothes all over the floor. Another flat surface, the wall. I say there are pictures all over the wall. I cannot say there are pictures throughout the wall because that means inside too, and they're not inside. They're on a flat surface. There are pictures all over the wall. Let's practice. Are there pictures all over the wall? That's right. There are pictures all over the wall. Example, there are books all over the table. I cannot say there are books throughout the table because they're not inside. They're only on top. They're on a flat surface. Use all over. There are books all over the table. Let's practice. Are there books all over the table? That's right. There are books all over the table. So do you have to remember and think about is it a flat surface? Is it not a flat surface? No, you don't. I have a solution. Don't say throughout. It's too formal anyway. Always say all over. Mickey Mouse is famous all over the world. It's more conversational and more common than Mickey Mouse is famous throughout the world. You'll hear it and you'll understand it. You'll know what it means. But when you talk, just say all over. All over the world. All over the table. All over the wall all over the floor. Don't use throughout in these cases. They're throwing the ball all over the place. I believe that if nothing changes, more and more people all over the world will come forward. She's dancing all over the place. Taylor, it turns out the Great Frontiers team is in dire need of an executive chef. We have offices all over the world and I spend a good deal of time visiting them all. People do come from all over the, uh, the world to see him, so. Excuse me. They got sirens and bells and signs all over the place, and they got him a watchman. Bonuses, I get employee rates on Marriott hotel rooms all over the world. Our vault contains at least 10 different currencies from all over the world at any given moment, and we are prepared for every kind of financial necessity. My consulting work takes me all over the world, and I do have some pretty wealthy clients. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, from all over the world, the Miss International Beauty Contestants. My father was in the service, so... We jumped all over the world, and I made Spain my home. 
children screaming all over the place and junk food and balloons and vomit everywhere. No, no, no. He Countries all over the world still pass on knowledge through pictorial forms. So do I ever need to say throughout? Yes, you do. In a different situation, you have to say throughout and you cannot say all over. We see that all of our examples are about physical places or spaces when we say all over and throughout. But what if you're not talking about a physical space or a physical place? What if you're talking about something with time? That's when we use throughout and we cannot use all over. For example, if I talk about a movie, there's violence throughout the movie. I cannot say there's violence all over the movie. No, I use throughout because there's time involved. You're talking about something with time. There's violence throughout the movie. And I don't like the movie. Why not? Because there's violence throughout the movie. It's too much violence. Let's practice. Do you want to watch this movie? That's right. I don't want to watch this movie either. Why not? Is there violence throughout the movie? That's right. There's violence throughout the movie. Or if I talk about history, again, you're referring to time. I use throughout. Throughout history. I don't say all over history because I'm referring to time. I use throughout. Throughout history. Example, there have been many wars throughout history. Let's practice. Have there been many wars throughout history? That's right. There have been many wars throughout history. Another example referring to time. Throughout the day. I checked my email many times throughout the day. I could not say I checked my email many times all over the day. I'm referring to time. I use throughout only. I checked my email many times throughout the day. What about you? Do you check your email many times throughout the day? That's right. I check my email many times throughout the day. Let's hear some examples. Your report. Yes, it's our custom to compile descriptions of the various places and people we encounter throughout the galaxy. So I set these throughout the house, see if I can stir things up a bit. The amazing work he did with his company, the Manhattan Project, and just stunned audiences throughout the world. Look, people have, throughout history, have woken up in the dead of the night confronted by blackness. Scientists are being ostracized, disorganized throughout the world. Many societies throughout history have honored and revered transgendered people. The Zulu, the Yoruba. May our selfless service spent in defending freedom bring even greater rewards in the larger work that you now undertake to promote freedom throughout the world. Now we're going to show you segments of that footage throughout the rest of this broadcast, of course, but also throughout the day. Ben Lisa ha the Halloween tradition is based on legends throughout history that indicate a real increase in spiritual activity on that night, and I thought we could use the occasion to draw them into the open. Throughout the day, contestants will prepare their dishes in groups of three, right before your very eyes. Updates will continue throughout our broadcast. Why is everything always so violent? They allow us to travel throughout the multiverse. So remember, if you're talking about physical spaces or places, use all over. And you don't have to worry about if it's a flat surface or not. Just always say all over, and you're always correct. When you talk about physical places and spaces, use all over. You might hear throughout, but you don't have to use it. Just say all over. But if you're talking about time, if you're talking about something referring to time like a movie, history, or a day, use throughout. We have to use throughout in these cases. And if it's still confusing, watch the video one more time. It'll be clear then. I promise. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.